They fired on the Dreadnought while you were on board? They were supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead... I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. You're military, you understand that. I understand that you wasted your chance to withdraw safely. The Dreadnought was a perfect target. <clears throat> You jeopardized your mission and your people. Get the hell off my ship. Shepard, I understand you're angry. If I didn't need your fleet... He nearly got us killed, Ron. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Had. Admiral Corish sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. I see your Geth friend has returned. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about its feelings as well? It's not a toy. It's a friend. A friend whose military is currently attacking our people. The security implications and... It disabled that dreadnought as a gesture of good faith. Please. Creators, we wish to offer assistance. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. I need to warn the fleet. Zen, coordinate with Garrel. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where is it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting Creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. <laughs> The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. What do you need? I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kunesh! We've lost barriers! Our comm system is jammed! Can anyone hear this? We have Geth fighters incoming! Ron, the Kunesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters! Damn it! Interceptors, divert to the Kunesh! Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. Shepard Commander, 
You opposed Creator Admiral Zen's attempt to confiscate our platform. She's done enough already. Your assistance continues to be noted. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarians' live ships. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked with server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the Creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant Creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. What'd you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Vale. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. What was interfacing with a Reaper like? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking. Even then, we could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense. Overwhelming. Unknowable. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced, but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Your decision was sound. Deleting the heretics resulted in fewer Geth allied with the old machines. So you don't regret killing them? It was logical. If we had not deleted the heretics, we would face an increased number of hostile Geth platforms. Death holds different consequences for synthetics than organics. Do you harbor regrets about deleting the heretics? We're already facing millions of Geth working for the Reapers. I'm okay with thinning those numbers again. You will likely have the opportunity to do so. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it. Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when Creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. We'll talk later. We will remain here. I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. Commander, we've got reports of trouble at a Turian fuel depot on Sion. I've updated the galaxy map. I've added the Corian fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. Commander? Intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like, who knows? Is a tentacle monster under there? What is that? What's under there? One moment. I have been contacted by Legion. 
Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. This is an infiltration unit, meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat. Nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie? Did I vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. Hello, Shepard. Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Adams is good, but I never feel like the engine's running right without Tally around. Kind of a good luck charm. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? We are not. Right. Just making sure. Different standards and all. And you found Legion! He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Cause that wasn't creepy at all. Shepard, the Geth continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. I'm liking the new you, Esteban. It's about time you loosened up a little. <sighs> not sure how drinking mezcal late into the night makes me a better crewman. How does it not? It keeps you heart. You need heart to fight this kind of war. My heart burn, maybe. Seriously, could we at least get some decent tequila? Hey, you're the procurement specialist. Set us up. Hey, Commander. Sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. You could say that. Sorry I missed it. And that Geth Legion. I know you two have a past, but... You sure we can trust it? I'm hoping for the best, but I'm gonna keep my eye on him. And that makes two of us. I guess you can't always judge an individual by their... species. Look at Sparks. If all the Quarians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. Sparks? Yeah, your Quarian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. Sparks. Uh-huh. Crazy that they pick now to start a fight. But I guess the end of life is we know it can make everybody a little loco. Just a little? Not everybody's as crazy as you, ma'am. I just don't get the glory. I really just do not get them. Hey. Commander, you flew that Geth fighter out of a dreadnought? Actually, Legion did the piloting. I was stuck in a storage compartment with my squad. Would have loved more time with that ship. Too bad we sent it to hack its team so quickly. Always good to see you, Commander. Ma'am. military force on their own people. They say it's to prevent loose cannons from provoking the Reapers. But are they indoctrinated? The Resistance speaks out in the only place they can, the battle space. Does Dr. Chisoni ever let you in her room? Cause she keeps me out. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. man drinks bourbon. It all makes sense now. What do you mean? You look with me. Hey, Scotch, my dear girl. That scunner drinks American bourbon. Completely different. He's a psychotic megalomaniac, and you've got problems with his choice of liquor? You've obviously never experienced the peat aroma of a fine Eli Scotch. Nothing to report, Commander. 
Nothing to report. Shepard. I couldn't believe it when Shepard told me you were on the Normandy. It appears I have that effect on humans. Now Quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth, Quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, Quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. Liara warned me you weren't what she expected. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive Quarians were considered attractive in my age. A pity no one can appreciate it now. Right. You know what? I think I have something important to do now. I won't keep you. The cult Geth. Yes, a formidable opponent. Why did you allow one on this ship? Legion helped us before. It's still a machine. I take it you had your own problems with AI? The Jatil. They were as the Geth are to this cycle. What happened? Their creators lived on a dying world. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. I think I know where this is going. The AI seized the physical body. It could alter the genetic material at the deepest level. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. All machines commit treachery. The one you brought on board is no different. At this point, I don't have a lot of options. You do. Throw it out of the airlock. Don't you think that's a little drastic? Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. But synthetics... No, we created them. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. Edie might disagree with that. But I see your point. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. I can't believe there isn't some way for us to coexist. We made them. And then gave them the power to surpass you. There is room for only one order of consciousness in the galaxy. The perfection of the machines or the chaos of the organics. Throw the machine out of the airlock, Commander. I have a simple rule. If a machine can speak, kill it. The machine you call Ide. What if she sympathizes with the Geth? We should watch her carefully. Why have you not thrown the Legion machine out the airlock, Commander? There is still time. I still have much to learn about this cycle. I still have much to learn about this cycle. Heard you were back in form blasting away flashlights down there. Maybe I should be more open-minded. But I'd rather scope down some tin can than a person. I'm right. Right? Fine. I'll shut up. Still fighting Geth after all these years, huh? Humanity one, blinky flashlights zero. Hey there. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. 
Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. Fine. Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on, we could die at any second, you know? Joker, really? I have work to do. You know he's gonna keep bothering you till you tell him. <sighs> They're semi-flexible cartilage-based scalp crests that grow into shape, and they don't flop around. Yes. Thanks, Liara. I gotta tell Vega I was right. Well, at least he's making friends. Perhaps we can talk later. Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. You just missed Rex. I heard. I can't believe the genophage is really cured. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the Geth out. I don't know. The Genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. The what? Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. With you, Garrus, I'd believe just about anything. Oh? <laughs> we should play poker sometime. Anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibrating. Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? You will. But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both. Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me. Everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? If all life in the galaxy vanishes because we hesitate, what choice do we have? <sighs> this is going to be a rough war. Tally's a welcome face around here. Or, well, a welcome face behind the helmet, I guess. If the Geth still think Reapers are some sort of god, this war must be heaven to them. Maybe later.
It's nice to have Tally back. I've made sure we're well stocked with dextro-based antibiotics and antihistamines. <laughs> 